Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. This is day 23 of the Leak Code Day Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's farm. Uh, I will not be doing an extra farm today just because I'm tired. I, not gonna lie, I didn't sleep that well yesterday. I'm gonna try to cook something really quick afterwards and then try to go to bed early. But yeah, to, and we have a hard one, so maybe it'll take a while anyway. So yeah, 502 IPO. Suppose Nico is that IPO soon in order to sell a good price, it'll increase uh, his capital before IPO. Is that how that works? Basically, it can finish at most K distinct projects before the IPO. Help Nico designs the best way to maximize the total capital, finishing at most K distinct projects. Okay. So, um, this seems like a, a, an optimization problem or maybe a sorting problem. Um, to be honest, at this point, I'm thinking heap, but let's kind of read on. So basically, you have N projects. The I project has a profit of whatever and then a minimum capital needed to start it. Okay. Initially, you have W capital. When you finish a project, you will obtain its per profit. And then, uh, and then your profit will be added to your total capital. I'm just want to make sure that I understand this. Um, that, okay, let, let's actually read an example, because I, because you have this capital thing, but you don't spend it. I just want to make sure that I understand it, because that doesn't seem to, okay, one, uh, the profit is one, okay. With capital one, you can start project index one or project index two. You choose two, but you don't, okay, so yeah, so you choose this one, but you don't spend the capital. Okay, so I mean, this is going to end up being a sorting problem. Um, with um, with uh, with a heap, so both, I guess. The idea here is just to kind of parse it. As so, I mean, the the idea is to just be really greedy, and and really the way that you you want to be greedy is maybe intuitive. Though that said, just because it's intuitive doesn't mean it's right. But I think this one you can kind of prove it because there's no there are no decisions at any point. Per se, right? Basically, of all the things that you can spend on, you get the one that's most profitable, add it to capital. And then, you, and after that, you do the next one that's the most profitable, right? And you just keep on going. There's, there's no optimal solution, or there's no more optimal solution because that is it. Uh, what is K and W? I don't even know. K is the number of projects. What is W? Oh, initially W. Okay. All right. So I think. Yeah, that's pretty much the idea, um, and this is shouldn't be that bad, but let's, uh, yeah. Basically, yeah, uh, these like mixed array things are always a little bit weird to me, but but that's okay. Um, yeah, okay. So basically, let's just say you have projects, maybe. Uh, and let's just make it list of SIP profits capital, right? And then now we want to sort pro the projects. We want to sort projects by the capital needed, right? Projects uh, sort key is equal to lambda. Let's say we have a thing, then capital is x sub uh, one. And this will give us uh, maybe p for project. I don't know. And this will give us capital in increasing order. So, yeah, eh, maybe I could have done it in one line. And the reason why I do want to do it in one line is not because I want to show off. It's because I want to change this a little bit um, to use a deck or a queue. But in Python, it is going to be a deck. Right? Okay, so then now we have the, these projects, and then now we can do it one at a time, right? So basically now, um, so, okay, so final capital, okay. So um, this is a current capital, current, current capital is equal to W, right? Um, and then uh, once again, we have heap, which just allows us, so what we want here is a max heap that allows us to, 
just get the maximum possible every step, right? So maybe, uh, let's go to profitable maybe, is equal to a heap, right? Uh, and then now we just run this loop of while, um, okay, so we is k always, uh, just wanna make sure k, hmm. That's weird, that k, I guess it's at most. Okay, I was gonna say this is a little bit weird that, uh, yeah. So, okay. I mean, we could do k is equal to min of k um, length of projects. Let's make this n. And then now we can do something like this, right? So we choose k projects. Um, well, current is the thing. And then now we want to say, um, or maybe profitable is a little weird one. Maybe just like selectable, maybe, right? And then now we want to go while length of uh, projects is greater than zero and projects, the first item, if the first item, the capital of it, and this is what this is means, eh, it's a little bit yucky. I need to to uh, read up on the, the Walrus operator. I think that makes it slightly better, but anyway. Uh, while this is greater or less than or equal to current, because basically this is the capital required and this is the current capital, right? So while this is the case, then we want to put some put into selectable. So we we don't push in the heap. We want to push the project. That's pretty much it, right? So projects of zero, kind of, but not really, uh, or not directly. What we want to do is sort by the profits, right? Oh, actually, yeah, we don't even need the capital at this point because everything in selectable, we know the capital. So then we only need the profits. So that's this, and we want the max of it. So it eh, is a hack, we'll just do the negative version of it um, because in, in Python, it is a min heap, right? So, okay, so then now that that's good, then uh, here we go, um, if length of, I think of the because of the way that we did it, this should always, mm, actually, I don't know if that's true. But anyway, if, if this has at least one item, then current we add it to heap q dot hip pop of selectable um and of course we want to subtract or we want the negative version of this because of that's how these things work of uh reverse and then afterwards we return current and i think we should be good maybe <laughs> do i have an infinite loop somewhere oh oh, oh i i'm dumb uh i i do have an infinite loop somewhere i pop left Okay, uh, let's give a quick submit. Hmm, apparently I got time to make see last time. What did I do last time? I'm just curious what past Larry did. And the idea is the same. Mm, oh wait, no it isn't. I do it in a funky way. Oh, I see what I try to do here. I try to use one heap instead of... Mm, I guess that works. It is slightly better, I think, but um, it is slightly better because uh, so okay. Let me go over my solution this time, and then we'll go over uh, the other one because I think that's slightly better. But uh, yeah, but here uh, the complexity. This is going to be sorting, so this is n log n already. Um, there's a couple of log k, or uh, in this case, ooh, what the? There are a couple of log n operations just because that's how heap works, but each item can only be inserted and pop once. So that means that they're at most, um, sorry, I'm, I'm thinking for a second. Uh, that means that at most there will be um, uh, log n, right? So this is at most k log n, but it gets dominated by this n log n. In terms of space, this is linear, we have a deck, we sort it, we have a selectable thing, they're all linear things uh, in aggregate. So um, yeah, n log n time of n space, and that's all I have for my solution today. What, what did past Larry do? Hmm. So you put a heap, mm, this is still gonna be n log n, I don't think that this is actually, I mean it's, mm. oh no, I think my original one was wrong, maybe, I don't know. No, I don't know. This is actually the same code. I I, I think I misread misread it on the scan. 
Uh, yeah, um, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Um, yeah, let me know if you have any questions, please, in the comments or on Discord. Yeah, stay good, stay healthy, take good mental health. Hope y'all get through the rest of the uh, week okay. I'll see you later and take care. Bye-bye.